Welcome back to our Apprentice Podcast. Uh, today we're going to be doing a tier list on the Jedi, on the prequels. Obviously it's not all the Jedi, but it's the Jedi we could think of. Yeah, the so if you, um, if, you thought, if you can think of a Jedi that did something or is important in any way that we missed or forgot, please let us know down in the comments. And not uh, sure to... Um, Kermit die. Mm-hmm. Anything uh, else happen? No, but I mean, we gotta come up with the rows, right? So we got twenty six Jedi up for grabs. I okay. see. I see six. So, one probably do what we did last time, with Lord of the Force. Okay. Lord of the Force. Master. Knight. Apprentice. Or paddle one. Paddle one is fine, yeah. Young one. Alrighty. Let's go, kids. Yes, sir. Let's go. Uh, Let's start. Alrighty, so first up we got Mr. Evan Peel. Lots of screen time, lots of lore about him. No, I mean, he didn't do a ton. He was. So we're gonna be ranking these on. Yeah. Mostly compared to other Jedi and what their accomplishments are. Um. So yeah, Evan Peel. I mean, what do you think? He had that one episode where he's pretty freaking awesome, and he showed up in Attack of the Clones, but that's all he did, as far as we know. He was yeah. really sick in that episode. He was pretty freaking awesome. I put him as a Padawan, honestly. What's that? I put him as a Padawan or Knight, just because we don't know much about him. I put High Knight. High Knight? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Plo Koon. Master for me. Master. He's amazing. He's pilot. He can do force judgment. I mean, we just don't know a lot about him. We do see him. Kicks ass. He's on the council for a reason. He's been on the council and hasn't died until we're 66 for a reason. So. Yeah. I'd almost and every time we do see him, he kicks ass. So. I'd almost put him on Lord of the Force because he's literally just about Lord of the Force. You like, I mean, he made that Force uh, judgment, or he discovered it, invented it, however you want to say it. The Force judgment. He's on the Council. He's an extremely powerful Jedi. He, I mean, my only thing is like he didn't sense a plot against the Jedi. Like he shouldn't be able to sense the clone trooper targeting him. During Order 66. Yeah. I feel like he should have sensed that. If he was a, ma- if he was a Lord of the Force. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where do you put Ahsoka? The highest knight or master? It's hard to decide. Cause if we're ranking her from prequels. Yeah. The only reason she survived the... um, What's it called? The Order 66 is because she was not in the Jedi Order. Because if she was, I don't think she'd survive Ahsoka, that. Are we ranking Ahsoka as Ahsoka or just prequels Ahsoka? Prequels Ahsoka, right? Yeah, then probably Low Knight. Yeah. L- Low Knight? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Because, I mean, she's cool and she's fun and great, but, like, she's not a master or, or Jedi Knight for, for a reason. that reason. Yeah. yeah. Alright, up next, Brother Voss. Quinlan Voss, up. He's sick. I mean, he's pretty freaking awesome. Just, I mean, I love his style. I mean, he's just one of those characters. He's that's pretty really cool. Right. I feel like he but, could go on the bottom of Master or the highest of Knight as well because he's just. He's pretty. He's got a pretty good story arc, to be honest. And he's pretty strong. 
I think we're going to put bottom of the night. We can modify that if we disagree later. Okay. Um, Pong Krell. Uh, I'm not actually too fond of him. I don't think he's actually powerful. He's cool and strong, but like... That's about it. Yeah. I'd put him in paddle one. Yeah. And to be a reference point, we're putting him in Padawan, not saying that he's like a Padawan. We're just saying that in comparison to... Like, them, compared to these guys, like, yeah. all these guys above him. Because, I him. mean, no, everyone in here would be knight or higher. But, I mean, it's hard to place anyone that low, but some people need to be. All right. Um, can't remember his name. Vep. Vep? He's pretty cool, but... I think he belongs below Pong Crow. I feel like Pong Crow would be him. Yeah. And that's about it to say. He was too like, he's cool. when he died from he's... Yeah. Yeah, I could agree with that. Alright, Mr. Snake. <laughs> oh, poor Rancis. I'm just going to make up names when I can't remember them. Oh, um, poor Rancis. It's pretty fun. I put him by night. Um, I don't think we've seen him in comic like, so far in the graphic novel, so it's kind of hard to really place him. I'll put him below night, below Ahsoka. Just because, like, I don't know. I didn't see enough of his combat to know where he would be ranked on this list. Yeah. Alright, Mr. Poof. The definitely uh, Kimono. I don't know anything really about him. He's got a dumb face, so probably youngly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if nothing else, that, than just his ugly face. That neck is too long. Like, I don't know how it doesn't get severed. Yeah, I'm just saying, it's like a bulging, vulnerable spot for this man here. Like, yeah, for real. I mean, I'm surprised the stormtrooper. I mean, he never lived to see stormtroopers, but I mean, I, I don't think the clone, uh, clones had a single problem killing him once Order 66 came about. Not because he wasn't a powerful Jedi, but just because, I mean, he's probably not a powerful fighter. Aaliyah Sakura. Huh? I put her low master. Low master. She's really good. Yeah, and she did sense the jet. The the. Will we put her above or below Plo Koon? I put her below. She might be really attuned to that part, but like combat wise, I'd probably put Plo Koon, like a lot of different aspects. I'd put Plo Koon higher. Yeah. I agree with that. Mr. Horny. Say say teen. Say say teen, yes sir, I knew that. Right. I'd put say say teen. See, I don't know. I'd put him above Quinlan Voss. Would you? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. That's... He's yeah. a council member, but like... I can say really all that. Great combat wise and story arc wise, so I mean he's still high up on the list, but I don't feel like he could be. I feel like he's close to Ayla Sakira, but I feel like Ayla Sakira beat him because she's a little bit faster. Yeah, and as you saw in Run of the Sith, he can't deal with speed because city is <laughs> torn apart easily. <laughs> yeah, freaking tornado towards him. Alright, Liam Neeson. Um, uh, depends on what aspect you look at it, because he could be part of the Lords of the Force. That's what I was honestly thinking. But combat-wise, he's not crazy high. So I'd actually put him between Ayla and Ploku. Yeah. Just, like, how even in his case, if it's Force-attuned, he's, like, probably top three. But, like, combat and everything else, he's still really high up, but 
the high that Plo Koon went. Yeah. So. All right. Now we got. Uh, what's this woman's name again? Bear Selfie. Bear Selfie. She's cool, fun, but. I mean, even Annie can dealt with her pretty easily. I don't feel like she's. She's cool and got a fun story arc. I feel like she'd be. Oof and Veb, but that's where it stops. I, I feel like Pronko could easily stop her. Yeah, I mean, I think Pronko could stop her in his sleep. Man, yeah. yeah. I mean, she wasn't too much of a force to be reckoned with. I mean, she was pretty smart, but at the same time, they only really used her as a, I don't know, political bargaining chip or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Alright, this next um, one. You can call her Probably same thing as Stacey Teen, except I think Stacey Teen's just a little bit better. Um, and that's it. Everything I said about Stacey Teen goes for Egan Keller. Yep, Helen Keller right there in the middle of Jedi Knight. All right. Um, Heath Koth. Probably below Evan Peel. Below Evan Peel, um, really? Below a soap guy. Eh, no. Evan Peel. Yeah, that seems right. I mean, we don't see a crazy amount of him, and whenever we do, it seems like he's getting beat or captured. Yeah, that's true. Oh. That's true. Alright, this man that Django Fett made fun of. Um. Probably Young Link. He's terrible. <laughs> I'm putting him above you, Ralph. Fair enough. But all right. So we got a beautiful picture of who is this chick again? Jacosta uh, New. Jacosta New. Yeah. <laughs> Cut off. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. No, I mean, combat wise, she's not crazy. Like her knowledge of the force is crazy. So. I'd put her high night, low master. Probably. Probably below Quinlan boss. Below Quinlan? Yeah, but above Evan. Yep. Quinlan boss. I'm going to spoil some of the book. Go for it. Dark Disciple. Quinlan boss has tapped into the dark side, so he has those kind of abilities. He's kind of like Anakin, where he's just a little bit rough on the edge, and so his force abilities are a little bit more rough on the edge, so I feel like Quinlan Voss is actually pretty high. So it's not easy to beat him. So I don't feel like Jocasta New could beat him. You feel like Jocasta could beat Quinlan? No. Oh. All right. Well, in that case, I agree with this. Uh, bad haircut, man. We don't really see a lot of them. We know he's the temple like the teacher for guards trainer. or sword trainer or whatever. So, I but mean, he not. has to be good at, like, lightsaber combat. He doesn't really have to be good. He just has to know the forms and study it well and all that. Probably high paddle one. Yeah. I'm going to put Pong Krell above him. Well, I, nah, I, don't, I wouldn't. The Syndrolic has mastered every single form, all seven forms. Oh, that is true. He is very, he actually is really attained with lightsaber karma, but unfortunately, that's all we really know about him. Yeah, that makes We've sense. We've never really seen anything. We don't really know too much more. Mm -hmm. All right, Brother Fisto. Fisto's actually really good. I... Always pointing out, like, out of the three Jedi with Mace Windu to a fit, uh, arrest Palpatine, Kid Fisto actually survives. Yeah. It's not a lot, but he actually survives five more seconds. <laughs> He's able to take Gravis on and always beat him. Gravis didn't run away. He survives the battle of Genos. I think he's like Gravis over here, just being the most little menacing thing, surviving everyone. I swear, half the people on this list has fought freaking Gravis, but this man just, like, waddled away. I say man. Yeah. He repaired himself, but you know. Oh, I'd probably put him below Qui-Gon, but that's it? 
below Liam Neeson. Yeah, I can I can go with that. He's attuned. He's much more attuned with the Force, but not um necessarily combat. But that the, the amount Obviously, of vice versa. He's very really. He's well. I mean, like like I said, he's able to take on Sidious a little bit longer than all of his peers. He's able to take Gravis on, so obviously he's got better combat than Aegon Keller and Sace 18. And, I mean, I'd say he's pretty force attuned. We see him when he helps free Mon Calamari. He seems pretty powerful then. Yeah. Yeah. Because you remember that, right? From yeah. The Clone Wars, yeah. He. Yeah. So, what do you think? I think. You placed him right. I kind of want to put Plo Koon in Lord of the Force, though, but we'll decide that. I do, but I just can't, because, like, if he had, like, at least sense that he was about to get shot, like, I leave Sakura, she's like, what? What's happening? Why are you guys turning your guns? Like, she sensed it before it was too late. There was nothing she could have done, but she sensed it. He didn't even really didn't sense it. It didn't seem like he, it just happened. Yeah. So I feel like he shouldn't have been sense that if he was a Lord of the Force. Should a little bit more in tune with it, but he wasn't, so I just couldn't put him. Yeah, yeah, forgot about that again. <laughs> All right, it's brother, it's close, though. brother McGregor, you and McGregor, uh, Mr. Obi Wan Benethan Kenobi. Um, I know everyone's not gonna like this, but the only reason he was able to be Anakin is because he knew Anakin, uh, he was his master. He had the high ground. Yeah, he knew Anakin. So, I know people aren't going to agree with this, but I feel like you're below Plo Koon. Yeah, I can go with that. He's, he is very capable, and he's strong. But, yeah, the weaknesses, man. Yeah, he is very wise and all that much more to be honest we haven't actually seen a lot of Plo Koon combat wise we've yeah. seen a little bit but not a lot so we actually don't even know the capability of Plo Koon we did see something yeah. early-ish in season 3 whenever they had the uh, ion cannon weapon where Plo Koon went outside with his little mask outside of the air little airlock and fought off droids out there and I mean he was very in tune with the force, I feel like, because he like rotated the entire uh, what's it called, the escape pod to the maneuver he wanted. He took advantage of all the droids. He threw. I mean, that's the in in tune with the force, but he also seemed pretty well in combat there too. Granted, he was just fighting battle droids, but still. Yeah. Yeah. Very great. Alright, I don't um, know. Is this a question, Yoda? No, not even a question. Alright. I'm not going to really explain it. Yep. No. I think everyone knows why. Yeah, he's just built different. Freaking, <laughs> oh my gosh, the Force Lightning. Uh, absorbing the Force Lightning right there and dueling Dooku. That shows that he's insanely powerful lightsaber combat, even at 900 something years old. And then, well, being so in tune with the Force that he lives on after dying because he discovered the blah blah blah. I mean, if you look for someone to be in tune with the Force, it's him. You said you don't need to explain, but I felt like it anyway. Yeah. Brother Mundy? Huh? Mundy. Mundy, Mundy, Mundy. I put him... Honestly, if I, if I were to just put him up before I thought too much about it, I'd put him right below Qui-Gon. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe between Qui Gon and Kit Fisto, either below Qui Gon or above Qui Gon, somewhere in there is what I was thinking. Yeah, because he is powerful in combat, but it's slow. He's a lot like Obi Wan in that way, where he's much slower to attack and more analyzing his decisions, but at the same time, he's still skilled in lightsaber combat. So I'm just going to put him. Above, I guess. I think that's a good place for him. Yeah, I agree. I would have agreed either way. Yeah. Uh, Mace Windu. I put him in Lord of the Force. Yeah. Below Yoda. 
Yeah, obviously. I don't think there's anyone that's listed above you at a... No, I doubt it. He's just very powerful, and I don't think there's too much to explain. He's just capable of beating almost anyone. Yeah. He's very, very capable, very good with the force. Great fucking hell. Great Vapon. I mean, that should be enough to put him up there. Exactly. I mean, cre- pretty much creating a weakness in the Sith. I mean, it was never used to the extent that I feel like I should have been, but he pretty much created the extinction of the Sith. What what could have been the extinction of the Sith? All right. Uh, Powerful. Mrs. T, Shock T, Direction of the Clone Army, she was very wise, that's pretty much why she was picked, she was wise, came from a peacekeeping community. And hey, here's what I got, this is what I think. I think we should put Fisto above Qui-Gon, I mean Qui-Gon's probably my favorite Jedi of all time, but Qui-Gon wasn't that skilled, I mean it, at least not from what we saw. He is, obviously. That's why he's high. But I feel like he though. Every time we see him, he's actually just really capable, great, and doing good things. I feel like Kivisto has to be a little bit higher. That, I feel like Shock-T is below Qui-Gon. Shock-T is below Qui-Gon. Yeah. Above Ayla. Yep. I- she's also, like... She's kind of like Qui-Gon, where she's, like, very attuned to the Force. Yeah. But I feel like Qui-Gon would be here just by a little bit, because he's got plot armor, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. So this is don't I think, like, she, he would win. Alright. I'd agree. What's this chick's name again? Stasali. Stasali. Um, yeah. You know, them right now. Probably much better in lightsaber combat than attuned to the force, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah. But she wasn't like crazy in lightsaber combat either. I mean, I oh. honest. I mean, below Evan, maybe. That's not yeah. right. That's what I was thinking originally. We're going to review this before we're done just to make sure that we actually agree with all this. Luminara Unduli. Alright, so. She was much more in tune with the Force than lightsaber fighting, but that doesn't. She wasn't lacking in lightsaber fighting. I mean, she. She and her Padawan, definitely. Barris, definitely. Did some. I'd probably combat. put her. Uh, she's kind of like Shark and T. And- Qui-Gon very to know the force, but even Qui-Gon and Shark T make up for their lightsaber combat. Like they're still pretty good. Mm-hmm. Luminar, like pretty not loses loses, but pretty much lost to Ventress, and so that kind of it ranks her pretty low. So I feel like she's above Evan Peel. Above Evan Peel. Yeah. What do you think? I think she's a bit higher. You said she lost to, um, who? Like, Ventress. Yeah, Ventress. You said she lost to Ventress. When was this? W- w- did she get killed? Oh, she got killed. Oh, yeah. It came back to me. Sorry. Remember Ventress. Yep. Ahsoka had to come save her. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I just feel like that kind of plays a big part in this. Yeah. Otherwise, if she had beaten Ventress, I'd actually probably put her a little bit higher. But the fact that Ventress was able to we kind of cheated and you know her surroundings, but it still counts. So I feel like that puts her a little bit lower. Yeah, Ventress, out of all the Sith or whatever you want to call Ventress, really is. Ahsoka was able to be a B Ventress. Yeah, and Ahsoka's way lower on the list. So, all right, Brother Skywalker, do we put him low, Lord of the Force, or High Master, or what do we do? I think that. Because even for his generation, he was succeeding everybody. I mean, he was the first to be on the council and not be a masher. And that's embarrassing, but that is impressive to be how young he was and be a council member. Yeah. I'd put him low 
not sure the force, Lord of the Force. And this is that we're ranking everyone during the Clone Wars, essentially, or yeah, before during Episode One, Two, and Three, and then we're counting that for the most part. There's obviously some people in the Clone Wars that those twins that uh, Fives, I think, shot one of them. We're not counting Top. them because they had a whopping thirty seconds of screen time. And right. I mean, you'd have to read into the books and understand a ton of knowledge before you place them on a tier list. We're just not going that yeah. in de- deep yet because I can't read yet. So, right, yeah. Once I become literate, we might consider that. But anything you would want to move? Um. Not really. I think maybe Quinlan Boss a tiny bit higher, but I mean he's he. I really hate yeah. putting Ahsoka down so low, but yeah, I hate putting her low too. But she didn't really become crazy powerful until after. Not, yeah. not necessarily after. She was well, definitely powerful. In, like in, as soon as the Clone Wars was about ending, is when she started getting crazy. Yeah. So I can't really rank her for all the Clone Wars, but she was very immature and so young. Yeah, exactly. You got to take into account all this. Like we're taking into account uh, whenever we include uh, uh, who is it, Luminara Unduli. We're taking into account earlier parts of the Clone Wars, so we got to kind of take that into account here too. I'm also really like putting some drama cloak. Be teacher for lightsabers and mastering all seven forms. It should put you higher, but like I just don't really know a lot about him. Me personally, yeah. maybe there is a lot of content about him out there that I just don't know. If there is, please suggest it down in the comments so I can be more aware. But I just don't know enough for him to be high. And yeah, it's hard to put someone that you don't know much about so high. Right, like the most I know about him is Anakin killed him. Yeah. So I can't really put him crazy high for that. Mean, yeah. That kind of puts a little limit on him. It means that he's lower than lower to the force. But, I mean, that's very, very vague. Because, I mean... Yeah. Okay, so, for people who are listening and not watching visuals, um, if this goes on podcast, uh, up here, lower the force in order... Got Yoda number one, Ace Windu two, Anakin three. Uh, the second tier we got Master. We got Blue Kun one, Obi Wan two, Kiani Mundi, Kit Fisto, Qui Gon, Shark T, and then Ayala Sakura. Fourth night tier list right in the middle. We got Safety Team leading, then. Aiken Keller, Quinlan Bus, Evan Peel, Stasali, Ekoth, Ahsoka, then Francis. Um, then we have the Padawan tier, leading is Syndralic, then Pankrao, Barasofi, then Nahar V, Veb, and then last, okay. Last year we got Younglings with Trevor Coleman, and then very last on our list Urel is the Kaminoan Urel Poof. <laughs> yes, sir. And like that, so, Cinderling is a good example of Urel Poof. I mean, we didn't really know much about Urel Poof. I mean, I know he was at one point a good fighter, at least a good one, because I just remember seeing something about that. But, I mean, it's hard to put him high when you don't know crap about yeah. him other than that. Because, I mean, everyone, everyone, everyone in the whole list, enough content on him. It. yeah, the entire list you could put as a good fighter. So, um, yeah, that's our list. Again, if there's any major Jedi's with lots of content around them that we're missing, let us know down in the comments. Um, I'll just let you check the list, how you would rank it. Yep. See you next time. Hit that like and subscribe. Anything else happen? That's it. Bye.